Welcome to Temiskaming Shores, home of Canada's largest abandoned mansion. Owner Peter Grant started his company, Grant Forestry, in the 1980s employing 800 people across Canada at its peak. The company was North America's third largest maker of oriented strand board, a product similar to plywood. By 2004, Grant's company's success led him to be the 87th richest person in Canada. Construction of his mega mansion began in 2005 and was to be Peter's home and corporate office space. The massive 43-acre property dwarfed all others in the town. The 65,000 square foot mansion featured a boat garage for a 40-foot yacht, an indoor pool, waterfalls, bulletproof windows, and was to feature an art gallery, golf course, squash course, and lighthouse on its completion. In 2007, when the housing market in the United States started to crash, Peter's company was in serious trouble. Profits fell from $500 million to $180 million in just two years. Construction of Peter's dream mansion stopped, and the home to this day sits unfinished. By 2009, the company had lost its fight to stay afloat, and filed court protection from creditors, citing nearly $600 million in debt. The company was forced to liquidate all remaining assets, which included the massive home. The home was listed for an astonishing $25 million. It's unclear who the current owners are, but the home currently sits abandoned, decaying, and an eyesore to the locals. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Before this video starts, I wanted to give a huge shout out to my recent Kofi supporters. So thank you so much to Matink, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, so I'm sorry if I'm not, Simba, Denise H, Frank from Princeton, and Monica P. Thank you guys so much for buying me a coffee and uh, helping support the channel. I really appreciate it. Also, I've recently opened up a P.O. box, so if you've ever wanted to send me any mail, you can now do so. The uh, P.O. box address is in the description below. And uh, yeah, without further ado guys, let's go explore Canada's largest abandoned mansion. What is up guys, it's Noah here. Today we are at the biggest abandoned mansion in Canada. This puppy is 60,000 square feet. Absolutely insanely huge. Um, yeah, we're gonna go check it out. Uh, it's pretty much unfinished inside, so we'll just see what's been uh, left behind and see what's up here. Guys, this is just part of the mansion. nuts like the glass is huge this is probably a carport <laughs> okay absolutely massive Go inside. No. Yeah. It's fake rock. Oh. It's broken, it's just falling. Alrighty guys, so this is a huge abandoned mansion, so it's mostly unfinished. The man ran out of money who was building it, and this is how it sits now. It's been very, very vandalized, and uh, we're going to check it out.
It's fine. I've already walked across it. Imagine this is a home for one person. See, they've been smashing it all up inside here. Look at how big it is. There's just a room after, oh, there's an elevator. It's pretty nuts. It's just room after room, guys. Don't even know this, what this would have been. Completely unfinished. I'm all right, don't worry. Oh my God, it goes down twice. Holy, this is huge. Damn. Ginormous guys. Like this looks like this would have been a fireplace. Leads outside. Literally feels like I'm walking around a hotel down here. More broken glass. I haven't gotten the idea of how big it is, like goes hmm doesn't really go anywhere else Seeing as this is 60,000 square foot, guys, we're not really going to stop much in each room. We're just kind of going to look <laughs> and keep moving.
This was a glass railing, probably. It's crazy big in here. That's okay, if you get through late in the video, it helps. Okay. It's kind of much of the same, because it's really not finished, so a lot of it's, you know, unfinished, nothing really to it. Just me. See what I mean? Like, they just, they never ended up actually getting this house done. This is actually a door. This is the biggest door I've ever seen. It is a door. Okay. place right now is really just brick and mortar. There's really not much happening. It's kind of just gross how rich this person was. Like I said, guys, like a lot of this is just unfinished. There's really nothing here. Isn't this nuts though? <laughs> For this kind of house guys, not every room needs to be explored because it's just, there's nothing to them. This is their garage, yes. It's like 900,000 square foot, this house. It's ridiculous. And yes, guys, I'm sure I'm gonna miss some stuff in this house because there's like 900 rooms. So, you know, just bear with me. That's a door. Upstairs. That's a lot of mold. At least up here is a little bit more finished. It's like a labyrinth, it's like you never know where you're going. 
Like, do you guys see how big these rooms would be? Like, it's absolutely insane. And yes, he has a complete view of the lake. Like, what is this room? A guest room? Like, This is just a landing for his upstairs. That actually hurts. keep going up my god it's like five levels it's the elevator shaft no elevator ever got put in obviously just doesn't go to anywhere. Cool. <sighs> Wearing my good shoes. Wearing my good shoes. Those are bathrooms. There's two bathrooms right beside each other. It's the only room that actually has any contents left. Pest management, stuff like that. But like, what, what would you do with all this space, like realistically? Like imagine choosing out like panels and tiles for this house, like really? Like, yeah, like, like look at just the ductwork up there. Like it's that's too much. Hmm. Like yes, it might be the biggest abandoned mansion in all of Canada. Sure isn't the nicest. Nothing to it. I don't know where we are. Upstairs. No. <laughs> so we've done the whole floor. Okay, we've done the whole floor. Gotta go up to these stairs. So it's just a big circle. There's a pigeon here, I don't want to scare you. <laughs> the hell is happening here? Hello, bird. Hello. Holy, he doesn't care. All right, whatever. You're okay, you're okay. Oh man, oh, they're all living in here. This is cool. It very much does smell. <laughs> this is cool in here. It 
That's all there is to up here too. It's hard to, it's really hard to get a scale of this house, but like, it's insane. Where does this go to? Why wow, there's so many rooms to go to nowhere. Okay guys, there was a car so I had to run out of the house. Put him back in because I missed the basement. So we're just gonna quickly go downstairs, look at the basement. We're gonna head out. Look at that. Obviously they had an indoor pool. And they were gonna have an indoor hot tub probably too. Jeez. It's crazy what money can get you. <laughs> Very confusing down here. <laughs> it really feels like a mall or like a hotel, this place. It's absolutely insane. Those are the spirals. I just fell in that hole. I hurt, holy shit. Ow. Okay. Damn. Whoa, this is weird. Don't know what this was. Fall probably won't even look like a fall to you guys because the camera's so stable. But I'm in agony now. Seems like there's two different entrances to the basement. I just want to go look. Just get out of here. I'm in pain now. Oh, is it flooded? It's really just the one thing I want to see down here. Gosh, it's so much water. It's gonna be very hard for you guys to see. Indoor, probably fit like six boats in here. It's got its own dock too. That's nuts. Can't really go outside with this, but give you guys an idea. Look at this. Isn't that just stupid? Like, that's nuts.
place is absolutely insanely huge. Just quickly go over here. I think I missed a bit of the roof, guys, but I'm not gonna be climbing back up all those stairs after I just fell in the hole. Okay. This just leads to the other side of the docking area. It seems like. Unless this door goes somewhere. No. Just equipment. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, tell me what you think of this place because I think it's just kind of a waste of money. With that, I'm gonna end this video. See you guys in the next one.